Hello and welcome to CED Mosbaugh's online video series. Today we're going to show you how to implement a factory talk viewpoint application on a panel view. So before we get started, uh, you can see we're in our factory talk view studio from Machine Edition. Uh, it is important to mention that this is uh, only applicable on panel view plus sixes and plus sevens that are running firmware 8.1 or higher. And if that's the case, you already have the uh, capabilities of, of doing this configuration with no added licenses, no extra cost. So everything we're going to cover here you already have included on your panel view. Um, and so Viewpoint is, gives us the ability uh, for a remote user to log in or connect to the panel view uh, and interact with the screens. And what's the difference between that and say a VNC connection is that um, you, as the, the engineer or the owner of this application, can decide what screens that remote user can view and how they can interact with them. Whereas VNC, they have everything the, the local operator would have. In Viewpoint, you get to make that decision. As well as uh, the connection, the remote connection is completely transparent to the local operator. Uh, they won't see the mouse moving around or they won't see the screens changing in front of them as they're trying to do things. The remote user is uh, invisible to the local user. So to get started, what we need to do is just click on our application tab up here and go to Viewpoint Administration. So here's our Viewpoint administration console here and you can see what it does is it connects automatically to our application because we opened it from within the application um, and here are all of other screens that are available you can see we have them all enabled so all of these screens in our application are viewable to the remote user um, in our case the local application on the panel view the initial display is this MOTM in our case we want we created this special screen called MOTM Viewpoint that we want that to be our initial our initial screen. It's slightly different than the one on the local application um, and more geared towards the uh, remote user. So we're going to use that. If we wanted to supply um, security settings to any of these, so say on this screen we only wanted to um, have a viewpoint or view only um, capabilities we could disable the right capability so that they couldn't take control, hit a start on any of the push buttons, start a drive, change a setting, that sort of thing they can only view. So we're pretty set up here. So this is just as easy as clicking on publish displays and this will take a moment. Um, it'll pack up each one of these screens and once it's done, it's done and we're good. So now we can hit close on this and then this is the next step uh, for when we create our application, our runtime application, we want to make sure that one, obviously we select the correct version that's on our panel view. And then down here at the bottom, we always want to select include viewpoint content and it'll just default to the viewpoint that's on your computer and to match up with the uh, version that you create your runtime in. But you always want to include this. If you don't check this box, it will not uh, download the screens to the viewpoint server on the panel view. So we're going to go ahead and create this, this runtime file and we're going to transfer it over to our panel view and then I'll show you what happens. So there's one thing that I get asked a lot about when creating MER files. It's that how do I tell what version of uh, firmware is running on my panel view so that I know what version of MER file to create. Um, so that's an important th step. So let me show you where that is on the panel view. First of all, you have to shut down the application to get to the ME station menu. Um, I always hide a shutdown menu somewhere in my app or a shutdown button somewhere in my application. Um, so it'll bring you up to this menu. And what you do is you go to terminal settings and you're going to come down to system information. And then right here, about factory talk, uh, view ME station. And right here, right here, it'll say ME station, and this has run version 12 right now. So that's the uh, version that you want to make your MER file. 
So once our MER is created, we use the uh, ME transfer utility to send the MER file over to our panel view. If you haven't done this before, it's pretty very straightforward. Uh, once the panel view reboots, we can then uh, just simply open up a browser as long as we are on the local network. So you'd have to attach either locally to the to the network that the panel view is on, the control network, or you would need a VPN uh, if you were connecting remotely. Uh, so we just put in the um, IP address of our panel view. And there it is. Here is our factory talk viewpoint application. So we are live. We are running just to show you that I have a uh, a DLR uh, device level ring uh, screen here. So once that loads, there's my ring of everything I have here. If I pull one of the ethernet cables, we should get a fault. Yep, there it is. So we are live, we are on with the network. So there you go. That's factory talk viewpoint on a panel view and hope that helps. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.